Russia and Ukraine have accused each other of drone attacks on their respective capitals. Authorities in Moscow say a residential building was hit by a rare drone strike Tuesday. The city's mayor says at least two people were injured. This comes as Kyiv faced yet another pre-dawn air raid that killed at least one person. Deborah Pata has more from Kharkiv, Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine is being felt deep in the heart of Russia. For those in Moscow trying to forget there is a war next door, the unsettling sight this morning of what appear to be drones over the capital's wealthiest neighborhoods. For others, it's a wake-up call. I'm thinking of moving somewhere safer, Olga said. It's logical this would happen. What else did they expect? There were no casualties, but Russian media claims some of the drones slammed into high-rise apartment blocks. Kiev has denied any involvement, but an advisor to President Zelensky said they were watching with pleasure and predicted more of the same. The apparent strike in Moscow followed yet another aerial assault on Ukraine, with pre-dawn explosions once again in Kyiv, when a swarm of Iranian-made drones were taken out by Ukraine's air defense network. That makes 17 attacks this month alone, but virtually all the Russian munitions have been taken down. Zelensky hailed the success of the U.S.-made Patriot air defense system. When patriots are in Ukrainian hands, he said, there's a 100% interception rate of any Russian missile. And on those drone strikes in Moscow, John, Russia's foreign ministry says it reserves the right to take the harshest possible measures against Kyiv. Deborah Pada in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Thank you. And joining me now to discuss the latest in the war is the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. You may remember she was abruptly recalled from her position in 2019 after Donald Trump and his allies accused her of undermining the former president's efforts to pressure Ukraine into investigating his likely presidential challenger, Joe Biden. Later that year, she played a central role in Trump's first impeachment inquiry. Ambassador Yovanovitch is also the author of a memoir titled Lessons from the Edge, which is now available in paperback. Ambassador, it's good to be with you again, and we'll get back to those recent attacks in a moment. But I want to get uh, your latest read from your trip to Ukraine. Tell us what you saw. Well, you know, it's a little counterintuitive um, uh, almost. Uh, I was in the capital, which is a beautiful city, as you know, uh, springtime and very green. Uh, and yet is, it is a city and a country at, at, at war that is suffering, as you um, uh, just reported, um, nightly uh, attacks uh, from, from, from the Russians. Uh, and um, importantly, on Sunday, they also uh, attacked during—or uh, on Monday, they also attacked during the daytime. So it's a, a city a little bit on edge as well, um, although the Ukrainian people are, are not going to be terrorized by, uh, by these Russian attacks. When you left for your trip, was there a question you wanted answered? Was there a curiosity you had that you took with you that was, in fact, answered by your trip? Um, really, what I wanted to do was get a sense of what it's like on the ground. The last time I was there was in February, um, and with these accelerated attacks by um, by the Russians, uh, I wanted to get a sense from uh, from friends and former colleagues uh, what they were what they were feeling, what they were seeing, and um, you know what I came back with was um, that the Ukrainians are as courageous as ever, as um, con uh, committed as ever, and confident confident that they are going to win. Are they still confident about support from the West? Do they worry about continued support from the West? Um, well, that question came up in every single meeting. You won't be surprised. Um, and uh, I think um, myself and my colleagues, we tried to be uh, reassuring about that, that uh, in uh, the U.S., at least, um, while there are uh, understandable questions um, about um, uh, about uh, the level of support and what is um, you know the controls on that support. I think overall leadership in both parties is still as strong as ever and will continue to be as strong as ever in support of Ukraine. When you were in this visit, did you think was there a moment where you thought that's the Ukraine I remember? <laughs> Almost every moment, um, because, you know, there's something about the Ukrainian people that is just so inspiring. And I think your audience can see it as well, just in everyday, the everyday resilience and um, the way the Ukrainians have come together to defend, you know, their families, their freedom and, frankly, their future and our future as well.
Now, Tuesday's drone strike in Moscow, pretty big ex escalation. What's your view of what these latest attacks on both Moscow and Kyiv indicate at this point in the conflict? Yeah. Well, with regard to the attacks in Moscow, and of course, um, the Ukrainian government is not claiming responsibility, at least not directly. Um, I think, uh, you know, what we've seen to date, um, for the most part, is that Russia has um, had sanctuary, uh, where its, um, its citizens have not felt the impact of the war. And frankly, you know, when soldiers withdraw or withdraw their equipment, they, are, they have also been immune from the impact of the war. That seems to be changing somewhat. Um, the Ukrainians, on the other hand, of course, have always been, uh, you know, Ukrainian citizens, I should say, have always been right in the middle of the war. And um, over the last, uh, you know, several months, uh, the Russians have changed their tactics going after civilian infrastructure um, when the attacks on the um, energy infrastructure, frankly, failed, because the Ukrainians were able to fix it at a more rapid clip uh, than the Russians were able to destroy it. Um, so they switched tactics, um, going after civilian infrastructure and, um, and civilians themselves. And we're seeing that, intense, that intensity, the acceleration of those attacks, um, most notably over the weekend in, in Kyiv. Marie Yovanovitch, former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. The book is Lessons from the Edge, out in paperback. paperback. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.